Hi there everyone. I thought I'd make a video um, not necessarily comparing different scanners but just demonstrating the four scanners that I own on the same subject. I have a POP1, a POP2, Blue Light Mini, which is a beta, and a Creality Scan Lizard. I got the POP1 on Kickstarter. I got my uh, one of my POP2s on Kickstarter. As I said, the uh, Mini is a beta unit. I got the Creality Scan Lizard on Kickstarter also. I love the Kickstarter deals. Anyway, this is Boba Fett tackled by four scanners. <laughs> Start out with a POP2. That's what this is. POP2 scan. I spent the better part of the day getting these scans uh, so I wasn't trying to be perfect. I'm not trying to produce a perfect scan here. I'm just trying to evaluate what I can do under the, basically the same conditions, spending as little time as possible and not getting crazy about perfecting the results, just basically using uh, default fit functions, default settings, and uh, try the same technique basically on uh, all four scanners. Well, except in the case of the scan lizard, which has a, a turntable mode, which automatically removes the turntable for you, similar to the uh, clip plane in uh, Rebel Scan. My favorite scan mode is feature in Rebel Scan, though, so I, I seldom use the clip plane because I add volume, I add objects to my scans usually to uh, improve the tracking. And if I use clip plane, and sometimes it doesn't track because those those items might disappear and not be visible. Here's the scan lizard. As I said, you know, you uh, it, it, it's a different approach. You know, you. Yeah, I'm no expert by any means on anything. I'm a specialist in a few things. <laughs> Some people call me expert at things, but I, I'd rather be a specialist than call myself an expert. Too presumptuous. Anyway, I dropped that, dropped that uh, turntable right off of there, all of those scans, and then uh, it automatically merged them, and it did a pretty good job. I know I could get in there and tune out some noise, but this is, like I said, just basic settings with all four of these scanners. No idea of the detail there. That little antenna thing is a. And like I said, I could probably do a better job if I were interested in getting a perfect scan, say for 3D printing or for. I don't know, whatever use, uh, reverse engineering, say I was designing a part or whatever, but just to check it out, I didn't see the need to get it now. Here is my POP1 in the color mode. I love those color scans. I can't wait for the Mini to have color. Uh, I have one I pledged for on Kickstarter. Then I'll have five scanners. I just I'm <laughs> I'm scanner crazy. It just has preoccupied my thoughts for well since May of 2021 when I started scanning. It doesn't do too bad. A larger object would be better. You know this is kind of pushing the limits for the Pop One. The color at the time wasn't all that great, but it was still color. That was pretty cool. I can I can remember the days of early computers when they started showing color. I thought, how fantastic is that? Jeez. And of course, since I've been a 
TV technician for over 50 years. I'm fascinated with things displayed in color. <laughs> Just one of those quirky things, I guess, about... Okay, now we're going to do the Pop 2. I want to know crazy things about uh, repairing televisions for 50 years and uh, most of the job going on inside your head, you know, sitting at a bench with a television set in front of you and uh, striving to make the picture the best you can. That's what I'm doing with the scans. I do the same thing. Try to do the scans, get them as best I can. Yeah, I do the same thing. In the old days, I did the same thing with televisions. You know, make all the adjustments, convergence, all of that, everything I could do to make that thing just pop, look the best it could. Now this is just uh, the RGB result. Now it's it's uh, meshed. And then we're going to texture it. And uh, since I didn't set up any special lighting or anything, I'm just uh, <laughs> flying by the skin of my teeth. Um, the texturing is going to mess it up, I can almost guarantee you. Because my lighting is uneven and uh, I uh, altered my photo booth to the extent that it doesn't work well for Pop 2 anymore for color. I uh, decided I'd just start doing all my color scans with my phone, but for comparison purposes, I wanted to use the same computer here. And there's, uh, there's the textured model. Looks kind of cool. It looks like it's battle-worn, you know? <laughs> kind of neat. I think the little, I didn't even know that was there until I looked at the scan. <laughs> and I looked on the I looked on the model and yep, sure enough, it's there. I, I didn't notice it at first. Okay, now we're doing the mini. This is the blue light mini. Beta I have a beta version. Mine doesn't have RGB. I, like I said, I can't wait for the RGB because I love color so much. But I love the Mini too. Yeah, see this new software, the Revel Scan. I, I've used it ever since. It was Handy Scan way back when, and it has gotten better. Every sting and single release has been better. They know what they're doing, I'm telling you. I got a little burp there, took off the <laughs> little radio thing, whatever it is. But could you imagine that in color? Be pretty neat. I have a Prusa XL coming that can print five colors. <laughs> it's going to be pretty slick. If they ever get it done. <laughs> but there's uh, the scans from four scanners for you to peruse. As I said, I'm not an expert, so I can't make recommendations. I can only be fascinated with the scanning and uh, do my best scans and display them so you can take a look and get some entertainment. I love doing these things and I love sharing what I learn. Look at that detail. It's a lot crisper, you can tell. Jeez, can you imagine that in color? <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. The four scans of Boba Fett. See you in the next scan. Have a great fourth. Bye now. <laughs>